Hi guys, I'm here to show you how to remove the crank gear and the brass gear from the VW Airpult engine uh, crank. And what I normally do, I remove them all in one go. I do not remove the brass gear first and then the, the crank gear. I just find it easier and it works for me. So you guys uh, can do it if you like. Um, here's what I normally do. I removed already the circ clip. And before I put my crank gear uh, a tool, I normally just clean up this area around here because it normally uh, fills up with carbon and it makes it more difficult for the crank to come out and sometimes it scratches the crank gear. So that's what I'm going to do just using a scotch bright. I'm going to clean this up nicely before and remove it just so all the carbon comes out. It's gonna be reground anyway, so I'm not really bothered about the, the journal. And this is not a very uh, coarse uh, Scotch practice, it's a 1500, so it's just a polish really. Okay, I'm gonna put a drop of oil in here. Again. And this is my um, tool I normally use for this, it's quite cheap. 50, 60 pounds, you can get one. And very handy. You can do this on a, on a press as well. And this is just easier. Well, here, so I can extend the life of my tool as well. Before I start cranking it to pull it out, I normally apply some heat to the gears just to make it easier to come out. You can you can take it out without using the heat, but it's just gonna be harder on your tool and harder on the crank and harder on the crank gear as well. So you might score it, and we don't want to do that. So I, I apply a little bit of heat just to make it easier. Especially when the crank is all standard, it's never been taken out. It could be very hard, you know, for this to come off. Of course, when the engine has been rebuilt already, uh, they have been taken out and put back on, so it'll be softer. But these, it's never been done before. It's a standard crank. First time the engine's been opened, so it's been here for about 40 years at least. This is just gonna make it easier for it to come out. But I should have added a bit of oil here on top. I'll do it now. Just a little bit of oil here. Where I where I've cleaned, so it's not gonna be dry. Let's go. I'm using a ratchet spanner. You can also use an air gun, but it's just too hard on the tool and on everything. I just prefer it this way. Here we are. It's off. Hold it before it removes. It won't fall on the floor. That's it. Done. Thanks for watching.